Well, good morning. Welcome back. We're here at Clennon Hall, which is near a town, not a town, a little village called Alwington, I believe it's called. And it's a lovely little sunrise, but <laughs> there's not many uh, like facilities to use this time of the morning. It's after eight. It's about half eight. But I've just been to uh, the hotel where we're stopping in the grounds. We're just over here with uh, Hugo Van. I'm not, but I went to use the uh, facilities, shall we say, and uh, it's not open. So I've had to uh, go round the back and I, I had to find an outside facility and uh, and use that one. But nowhere to wash your hands, so I've had to come back and wash my hands in the van. Now, if you do need to use the outside facilities like I did, just uh, pop down to reception and take a look out for these uh, wooden doors here and make your way through the take a right past the working farms you might hear some sheep bleating like i did anyway keep on going and you take a right here into the courtyard there's a little waterfall on the left so just keep on going past that past these oil drums here and there's your little waterfall just there on the left pleasant little thing the nugs of the water makes you want to go for the wee anyway and it's just in front of you, really. Make sure you bring a torch on the night time, man, because there's no lighting around here. And there you go, it's just in here. And it's absolutely freezing this morning. I'll show you the ice on the van. But we're nice and warm because we've got the new diesel heater in it. Ooh, I see. You can hear the diesel heaters going on our van. In Hugo van, who's also put a brand new heater in. So thanks to Howard, we've got his little uh, kettle, which he's given us now, and his little eco floor there. So we'll see how, we're testing this one out to see how it works in the camping situation. Here comes the snow. I bet we get snowed in with the Hugo vans. Who ordered the snowman? <laughs> What's that Steve doing down here? Is this your changing room? Yeah. <laughs> I always get changed outside. <laughs> it's nice and fresh. <laughs> right, we've managed to get through the snow and we've come into the lounge in the hotel and the kind people have put the fire on for us in the background there. We're just uh, currently downloading some stuff because yeah. there's no signal. <laughs> no. <laughs> there's no, uh, no signal for the uh, Wi-Fi, there's no signal for the TV. So we've got to come in here and make the best of it. There's a TV over there. We yeah, might, might see if we can get that on. Apparently they used to have log burners, which must have been really nice. But uh, I think the landowners said that they have to put gas fires in for some unknown reason. Have you sorted it? Oh, I thought you were going to do it. You've got your glasses on again. <laughs> well, I need to see. No batteries in that one. What well, did you want, Mick? Let me know in the notes if you can guess what song I'm trying to play. I can never play under pressure. Uh, video on me. Yeah, that's what they all say. What you do, Mick? <laughs> well, thanks, John and Greg. It is a pleasure to be here on Celebrity Master Chef. Uh, this is one we've been uh, perfecting over the years in the camper van, in Foxy the van, and it, it, this is a uh, it's volcano broth. Today's volcano broth does include, I believe we have the uh, specialising in the princess uh, chicken curry, vegetable curry, sliced mushroom, sliced, sliced mushrooms, and uh, the best selected carrot you can get in the world. And uh, yeah, this is it really. I mean, yes, it does look a bit like slop, but yeah. Uh, we're gonna enjoy it it's gonna be fabulous darling it's going to be just absolutely fabulous <laughs> <laughs> well so today's uh special tip from brenda in van live special is uh what is it brenda to make more room in your bin put little can in the big one and then you've got more room 
fabulous. That's worth a thumbs up, isn't it? And a subscribe, I would have thought. And just to add in a bit of, uh, you know, it's, it's just a very secret family recipe, this one. It's been passed down from generation to generation. It's actually uh, Asda's spicy Mexican style rice. Well, I think it's Asda. It could be. Uh, it's little, actually. Little. Sorry little about, by little. Sorry about that, little. Anyway, all you do is you, you open that up and you go like this. And there you go, and the uh, generations will appreciate this over the years and come to recognise this as one of uh, England's specialised spicy curry recipes. Wash it in. Warm it up. It's a bit solid, that one. Where have you had this one in the freezer? <laughs> Has it been outside in the freezer? And that's it. So, yeah, I'll be uh, expecting the trophy very soon thank you very much good night that has to be a winning recipe doesn't it clennell hall is situated in a valley on the very edge of the northumberland national park nestling in the valley of the river olwyn it's an ideal base for exploring the northumberland countryside and an ideal venue for weddings and music events too the hall itself dates all the way back to the 13th century and retains many of its original architectural features with some of its ornate ceilings, panelled walls, mullion windows and rich furnishings, along with extensive gardens, it's a really fab place to have a little trip to. As you can see, the countryside around it is absolutely outstanding, with lots of walking opportunities for walkers and hikers to enjoy. There's even a little pub in the village, Olwington, which is about a mile away. There's various ways you can stop at the hall, in a motorhome like we did, or in one of the static caravans on site, of course, you can always stop in the hotel itself too. Yay, we've managed to get close enough to the hotel to get a bit of a signal to watch match of the day. Let's have a look how close we are. Yes, that'll do. It really was a fabulous morning again. Just look at that sunshine poking over the horizon to say hello. It's probably a great day to meet some fellow YouTubers, isn't it? This is Silver Moonlight, check them out. There's a link in the notes down below. The little dog, little dog, there you go. Another <laughs> little dog. So he's got Moonlight as the Nice, uh, Silver so, 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 Moonlight, yeah. She's a bit blind, so she's just eat more. Oh, I'm big enough, oh. <laughs> I'm big enough to see. Good job I brought two pairs of jeans. Look at the state of this. Look at the state of this from any dog. I'm not having that. So what's your channel called? Silver Moonlight. Silver Moonlight. Uh-huh. Are you all for Silver Fox? It's Foxy's Travels. Foxy's Travels? That's right, okay. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, two, I'll have to look at this one. one. There's two channel channels. Silver Fox. Silver Fox. Mm. There's the six of us. Yes, sir. The six oh, of us. Yeah. Can we have that one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we just took. Yeah. You're boasting now, aren't you? So, <laughs> should we write our own little reserve? <laughs> <laughs> should we? Yeah, yeah. come on. Yeah. Don't so create what is this corner. You, 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 <laughs> hands off. Yeah. Create this corner. <laughs> so here we have Brenda using a brand new. Are the curling? To are you trying to curl with them? Yeah, you can curl with Tom. And it's these. Uh, I believe it's pronounced Ali Ella or Aiyaya, like Paella. <laughs> and uh, I know for a fact that they do get red hot. There's two different settings. I think there's a 60, no, 80 degrees, 60 and 80 degrees. And it's uh, completely battery powered. It has a charger that comes with it. And that curls it a bit. seems to have uh, gone curly whirly, isn't it? It seems yeah. to be working all right. So, what's your. Uh, how many out of ten for this styling product? Oh, it's good just to have a little front bit. It's fine. I bet you'd be able to do the whole of your hair with that. You have a laugh. <laughs> straighten it though. Look. I could straighten it. You could straighten it. How many out of ten? I'll give it no. Ten. It's fine. Well, we don't know how long the battery's going to last, but we charged it months ago and it's never been used. So. So we'll see how it goes. So here we go then. Happy New Year, folks. See if I can hit Steve's camera. Oh, <laughs> 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 is that your new camera? So here we go then. Happy New Year, folks. 
See if I can hit Steve's camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pop the drinkies. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> feeling a little bit rough this morning aren't you darling yeah just a little bit like oh. everybody else just too much Bacardi do you think no I think it was the cold <laughs> all that caffeine yes we seem to be having a little problem with some condensation ever since we've got the diesel eater in uh, it seems to be getting wet just as just on the level of the mattress isn't it yeah. so we haven't a stuff like a towel down there I think it's where the cold air from the garage is coming up and meeting the hot air from the diesel eater. So we'll have to try and think of something. So if you can think of something, just let us know. Another beautiful morning from the van window. Oh look, it's one of them vlogging types. <laughs> You're all right. He's what we want to see, little doggy. <laughs> So it's New Year's Day, 2024. We've uh, fresh as daisies, aren't we now? Uh, <laughs> Brenda was a bit rough this morning. I was all right. And we're just outside the gates to Clennon Hall. It's, well, you can see the hall in the background there. And uh, there's a little bridge over here. We're just going to cross the bridge and I'll show you the lovely little river, which was actually flooded uh, the last time Steve and Mandy came here and they, <laughs> they couldn't get onto the site. But it's lovely today. Let's go and have a look. Fresh, <laughs> fresh, very fresh. <laughs> Will this uh, bridge take our weight, do you think?
Maybe it's just for the cut off. It was just what we needed to blow them cobwebs away. Trying not to slip and make a complete fool of myself. It's a beach. It's a very small beach to be fair. It's a plant, Brenda, it's a plant. Don't go too close to the edge, Brent. this body by the way it's not actually mine I'm just uh, wearing it in for somebody I'm gonna get this one slim and then hand it back to the person <laughs> we've noticed there's quite a few trees been uh, knocked down I don't know whether it was the uh, recent couple of storms that we've had or whether they've been down a while but it's getting a little bit dark now it doesn't look like it's getting dark but it is getting a little bit dark and we don't want to get trapped on the side of the river in the pitch black <laughs> so we're gonna head back hopefully them uh, bells have recovered and uh, we're gonna go to the bar later on maybe for a couple of beers it is New Year's Day after all and then uh, I don't know Oh, we could just have some bees in the van. So Brenda's going to drop a poo stick in. You should have, should have two, really. Oh, we haven't got two. Go on. See if it comes out. Never came out, did it? Where? Where? I've never seen it. Oh, okay. there it is over there. <laughs> If you need to empty your toilet or get rid of your grey water, pop down to reception. There's a little manhole cover over here. Bring a hammer or a screwdriver or something to lift it open and just pour it in there. There's also a fresh water pipe there, but don't touch the side of your barrel. There's a fully working farm next door, so you do hear the occasional moo or bah, and you do get the odd whiff as well. And if you do need to post a letter... There's even a post box here. Which is a bit random. And I've just heard some bleating, so I'm coming down. Just to have a look. See who's making all the noise. Oh, it's these, these beauties. Oh, don't let me frighten you. You get back to your lunch. Here's a big one coming over. Hello there. I'm sorry, but I have eaten your cousins before. I'm sorry about that. So apparently this building, maybe it's not this part of it, but the keep inside is actually from the uh, 1300s, I believe. On that pipe up there, it says 18 something or other. I can't quite see what it says. But uh, we moved our van yesterday, or the day before. Actually, I can't remember now where we're at. 
so we're pretty close to the hotel and if you're lucky you can actually get the wi-fi from the hotel we've been watching a couple of movies on it so it's best if you're situated just in front of the window here <laughs> can we see in the window <laughs> well this is the way to the bar it's a little bit dark but make sure you come with the torch this is the light off the video you can see how grainy it is oh god you can see my breath pretty cold so just be careful when you're coming round this way and where are we i believe this is it is this the way in yeah this is the way from the bars just down here Going in today. <laughs> put your hat on. Mandy, what's my ally? Yeah, put your, put your hat on. <laughs> 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 There's footage you can't use. <laughs> 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 what well, I'm trying to say is, we just we got this for Christmas, didn't we? I think it was our Joshua bought us this for Red Stag, Jim Beam Red no. Stag. Wrong. Wrong. Who bought us it? We did. No. Uh, yeah, he got us a dead man's fingers. That's right. <laughs> we bought this. We bought this one. Anyway, we bought Sean one. Ah. We bought Sean one. There she Sean is. When Brenda's friend. talking, she's on the end of that bottle of whiskey. Yeah. Well, an empty one. He won't give me any. <laughs> yeah, he's only onto himself. Well, we bought Sean a bottle. Anyway, it's absolutely gorgeous. Mm. It's a bit like a cherry bake one. But Mandy had the idea that if you put. Uh, I'm a retro. It will be a cherry bake well because mm. it'll be cherry and almond. Mm, beautiful. Mm. Anyway, Steve wants Mandy some. And Dozy. And Brenda wants some as well. <laughs> Brenda's been watching too many Scottish videos, I think, at the moment. Stop talking and pour the gin bean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I even drank all of mine because I'm not a pig like the rest of them. I'm, yeah, we had twice as much as the rest of us. Mm. Mm. Uh, so, how much are we put? Are you taking the mic? Is that Mandy's not Mick, Mick, are you taking the mic again? Taking the Michael. So, Brenda, how much do you want? Oh. Four fingers. <laughs> Too many jokes there, like. <laughs> Another edit. <laughs> Don't knock his arm when he's. Wow! Oh, what Mandy! you <laughs> It wasn't my fault. Man swore. So pass, sorry. Pass the man. <laughs> Thank you. This is what happens when you we're come not away going on for the... four days with the bells and the Yugo vans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you've never been a drunk video on before. No. It's very nice and I think it was only uh, £3 or something. Yeah. Uh, in yeah. 1978. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Ooh. Cheers, me dear. Cheers. Cool. Cheers. Who does that? Cheers. Cheers. Love Sundays? Yeah, love Sundays. Oh, good. Yeah. And anyway, he's got enough subscribers. You can, give a, you can give an uh, honourable mention, can you? Who oh, does tag him, in the, tag him in the video. Bye! <laughs> and, uh, see you bye, Colin. that's Colin. Yeah. See you bye! <laughs> I won't lie. Uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway three, two, one, bye. <laughs> oh! Wow! <laughs> Step away enough, from the enough, gym, enough, enough of that. <laughs> well, that was just about done at Clennon Hall. There it is, looking glorious in the background. Right, we're just about to head home. We were going to pop into Scotland because we're only about 10 miles away, but the weather's a bit inclement, shall we say. So we're not going to bother. We're just going to head straight home, a couple of hours down the road. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye, man. Brenda's busy getting the van ready. <laughs> Bye. We had to call in at Seat and Sluice on the way home for some award-winning fish and chips. 20 quid, but they were very nice.